From the time I got interested in agriculture, my primary interest was in biodynamics. Uh, it wasn't called that at the time, but in 1924, Rudolf Steiner uh, had given a number of lectures. I followed almost all of the, the principles behind keeping closed loop systems and being able to find renewable and sustainable sources from uh, the cooperative relationships between you and insects and plant life and other things, being able to really create a host of intelligences uh, contributing to one large kind of uh, macro intelligence, really. Biodynamics have always really appealed to me, and some of the tenets of biodynamics are really kind of bizarre to most of the modern world because they abide by celestial planting rhythms. Maria Thun has created lots and lots and lots of plant experiments, uh, rooting and starting plants using biodynamic methods and, and testing the celestial agriculture. And there's no doubt, if you just try it, there's no doubt a difference in this. And so as an alchemist who also puts forth a lot of emphasis on the planetary determination of the materials that I'm working with uh, and how I'm working with them and what the planetary determination is of the intelligence that I'm working with and, and where in the body it's going to be directed by way of the constellation, uh, it seems this natural kind of syncopated compatibility for me to grow the things that I extract and to do so in a way that um, is also cooperative with these celestial rhythms, these celestial cycles, the spirit, the life force, the consciousness of the material can be felt that much deeper when you're really providing circumstances and energy uh, that are beneficial for its growth, as opposed to working in cycles that may actually hinder or suppress its growth. Biodynamics and celestial agriculture is something that are tremendously important to me, and obviously here we are standing in a greenhouse that even though it's aquaponic, we are still utilizing the principles of biodynamic agriculture. In fact, we have our wicking beds over here where our tomatoes are growing uh, that are only using some of the water through a wicking bed system uh, of the aquaponics and they're actually being grown in soil. And so all of these now abide by celestial planting dates. And then we also start our seeds on celestial planting dates where they're going to have the best effect, either for their root parts or their flower parts or their fruiting parts or whatever. And uh, we work with various plants also on, on different days in order to uh, really maximize their healing and their growth and their effect. What we have here uh, is an aquaponic system where we're farming tilapia. All of the water from the tilapia filters over through the wicking bed systems over here, and then the wicking bed systems go to a sump tank uh, and pushes water out throughout the entire system up here where we have our vertical towers growing lots of greens and other things and filling our hydroton beds over here and flowing back into our tanks. So we're able to produce a lot of food and herbs and other materials all year long being able to uh, utilize this greenhouse. This whole system is basically a constant feedback loop and we introduce as much biodiversity as possible. We have soldier flies in here which help keep our uh, pests and predator populations down. They're non-biting, non-stinging to humans. In fact, they've become some of my best friends. And uh, we have colonies of worms, for instance, living inside of our wicking bed systems. Uh, we've introduced little shrimp that we have all over in these systems. The, the more that you really work with this stuff, the more you realize how important it is to create a complete ecology and to learn from nature, to take a page out of nature, take a page out of the forest book. Being able to observe these cycles can really take your growing to the next level and really give you the opportunity to um, experience the ultimate potency of plants, uh, the way that they were perhaps meant to be expressed. It's a really beautiful thing.